A very, very typical morning here. Cheers. So yesterday I went at the uh, hardware store to get one of those tram and I'm gonna put that along here between my front floor and the wood, uh, the plywood, sorry, because I'm gonna show you I have like, it's getting a mess there. So this is the main problem, sorry it is a mess but yeah, there you go. This is why I have pom because cat hair, foo, kitty or ball is always here. So I want to put the trim that's gonna fix all that section. <clears throat> and and I got myself to vacuum. Nothing special, just a little house vacuum. I was trying to see the smaller one. And it seems that the smaller ones was the cheaper one, so whatever. Uh, hopefully it's gonna last me a little bit, but yeah, I was always thinking about getting a vacuum, a little vacuum for the van. Uh, I've been just dealing with the um, broom, but with the cat, I used to be a ma uh, janitor and I was using the vacuum once in a while to clean the van but now that I'm on the road and I don't have that job anymore <clears throat> I don't like those big like vacuum that you have at the at like uh, car wash or all those places because they make a lot of noise and get scared and all that and obviously like when you want to do like everyday type of I'm gonna try that out <laughs> Alright, it's not the best vacuum, but yeah, whatever, it's gonna do. What are you doing, kitty? Okay. What are you doing? No, no, you the leash is on that side. On this side. You got, uh, you got Tango. So, by the way, if you hear any noise, we are right beside the highway. Um, I came here because the main town is supposed to be like 35 degrees and it's gonna be too hot for me and the cat, especially the cat. And I just, I'm tired of the heat right now. <laughs> so I've been in the mountain, uh, so I just pull on the side of the highway. It's got one guy in this tent on that side and it's got a little Little creek, where are we down? right there. Uh, I might go see if I can get some water to have a shower or just jump in it. I'm not quite sure, but yeah, that's where we are.
All right, so they recommend like a um, mellow soap, but I didn't have any, so I had the snip. So uh, this is what I use, and this end's gonna go right at the end, so I'm not gonna see it. I'm gonna see the nice, the nice part. So uh, the trim came with some screws, but they are too long. You're not what I need. So I have another bag of screws. Like if you live in the van, trust me. <laughs> get some screws like I have to go get more uh, drill obviously even if someone build your van for you essential because something's gonna get loose something is gonna broke something so you need screws and you need help bracket like little angle uh, I do have in the front there I purchased more get some big one small one essential I'm telling you screws project number one done Yay. Uh, that's gonna look way better and eventually I'm gonna have actual vinyl floor the one that you stick into the plywood um, last year the only thing I'd done it was to varnish my plywood which I thought that was nice and cool and all that but the floor is getting quite messy right now and I just don't have the patience to varnish the floor every month or so you know what I mean so I'm just gonna put the vinyl floor. It's gonna be way better. So that's gonna come. A couple of chains gonna come later. Later on, just you know, it's been. It's gonna be two years at the end of the summer that I live in this van, but I still, still adjust things. You know that doesn't work and fix it and all that. And because I was in Squamish before and I had the day job and everything was at not everything but like half of what I own was at the storage um, it was kind of a little bit different and uh, that I have right now you know really full time on the road and all that so yeah just a couple of little things to make things better so project number two is to fix this shelf I don't know if you can see it probably yeah. the shelf is just loose now uh, so I have to remove everything and I purchased some little L bracket. I'm telling you, you need some L bracket. <laughs> so I purchased more. I've had some huge one, but not small one. But yeah. So this is what I'm gonna do to install the shelf. And little tip for you if you are building a van. I'm telling you. Every time you build something, shake it, like move it like crazy because this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna drive every day and it's gonna be like, when they said it's like a hurt crack every time you just drive, it's true. Like I realize, and I have like a background of like working construction and furniture making. Don't judge my furniture skill here. Uh, I'd only had a jigsaw and a drill to build my van and I was living in it too, no, no place to work and all that. But that being said, I was building the van like if there was something that I would put in the house. You know what I mean? Like nothing installed more than that. And now that I've been driving and driving, everything you know almost every month something's just fell something get loose something and i'm just adding l bracket and make things stronger and i still have to do a couple of those little repair here and there but yeah that shelf need to be fixed and last month i fixed the actual cabinet so those two cabinet by the way this one and this one here or cabinets that I purchased at the thrift store so I didn't make them I just it's just regular kitchen cabinets that I put there but this one was a custom cabinet so behind you have the actual fuel pump so it's a smaller little tricky one you know so I custom this one but thing was start to get loose so I put some air bracket here I fix things you know still things to get fixed a little bit messy this one and I removed my sink I forgot to totally ask that but yeah no more sink yay um, 
I didn't like my sinks to be honest. I know some people enjoy their sink. I was just not something that I enjoy. It was taking a lot of place. Now I have this amazing place for when I want to work on my laptop. I can sit down on my bed and just work there, put my cup of tea and all that. It's just been awesome. And um, yeah, so I do have a little bucket, which usually this one here. So usually this one is in the door frame here. This is my gray water tank if you want. So this is what I've been using as a sink, but not really a sink, you know, just the gray water. Yeah, it worked great. Shell fixed finally. <laughs> I don't have the perfect screws. Like, I'm telling you guys, having like so many screws, like for wood, for metal, everything, I'm getting out of it. <laughs> Every length, you need a lot of screws. All right, but project's done. Uh, I think for the rest of the day, I'm gonna do a big cleanup for the van just so messy like I've been in the back country and it's dusty and yeah it's very a mess here I wash all my winter blanket at the beginning of the summer but kitties like I put them right here at the end of the, the van by the way you don't know where you are right now <laughs> put them just right there with my guitar yes I sleep with my guitar that has to go in Quebec next time I go there I don't play guitar if you don't know that's my uncle who used to make guitar who died a couple years ago and we all have one guitar but I never play so this is gonna go back in Quebec but for now I'm sleeping with it and like my extra pillows there it's full of cat hair this was full of cat hair uh, and I just Drop my blanket on the floor, brown, I should say. Uh, so that's gonna have to be washed again. Oh, yeah, she's been sleeping here. And this one, I'm not gonna even bother. Oops, I'm not gonna even bother to. This is my sleeping bag, and she make a little dash there. So I'm gonna leave that there for her. So it doesn't even look that I cleaned the whole place. Uh, this is the state of my van lately. It just things don't have like 100% all the place right now, and it's just been always a constant mess. To be honest, like I feel like almost every video I'm like, I'm sorry, like don't look at my mess. But yeah, it's not that I don't clean it. It's just still things don't have place. Like right now, I'm looking at a fridge fridge freezer to remove my cooter but this is where my underneath here this is where my fridge usually my cooter sorry is right now and all the one that I look they are bigger so I'm gonna have to move that uh, I want to still find a place for my water but right now this is the jug so this is a mess my water situation thinking about maybe put it there but that mean the cat Food is gonna have to go somewhere it's just a mess and I buy like a little fan which now I have to figure out the place for it but I'm thinking about maybe I should buy like a one that I can mount somewhere and make it like fix so it doesn't take any space <laughs> and like I have my fruit situation which I hate it I need to have like a basket or something and obviously the guitar make like almost impossible to make a nice bed and for that I didn't buy a nice little cover which would be way better than this this is so old guys and like all my winter blanket because I didn't have any either I have so many blankets so I have like three big blanket one pillow right now and this is the sleeping bag uh, and I still have to clean this situation a little bit more so some people are wondering where I put my, all my winter clothes right there so the cat is right here hold on For some reason there you go now you see 
So yeah, the cat, she's right there. And all this usually like my winter clothes and I need to make it a little bit better space for this. I purchased this little vacuum thing. So I'm gonna have to find an actual vacuum uh, and do it. So yeah, the van is constantly in a state of cleaning and organizing and moving things so it feels a little bit better for me right now. Still after almost two years living in it. I'm telling you guys, never, never end. When people are wondering like, oh, are you bored sometime? No, you always have something to do in your van. So, all right, so I think I'm just gonna do a little bit more cleaning in the front here, wiping all the dust and all that. And I think I'm gonna let you with this, guys. Um, I think we're gonna be in this colder area for a little bit and go see my friends and get all my package that I order and all that uh, at the end of the week. So that's my plan. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy spending a little bit of time with me today and uh, we're gonna soon travel. Hopefully the smoke and the fresh fire is gonna get better uh, because we're going up north and it seems to be quite bad to be honest. So it's kind of like not messing with my plan, but hopefully it's not gonna mess my plan. All right, see you soon guys, take care.